this is a community voter registration event and it's really important because we want uh, not just to get our community galvanized but we want our students to know how important it is to vote and that their voice is their vote and even if they don't aren't right now eligible to vote they've got to know at least one person that is and to get them out here so that Polly can be heard we are so excited to have you guys mother and daughter oh this is so special mother and daughter come in register to vote we had a conversation we wanted more people to get involved in the voting process and we said we've got to get out in the community and get people registered to vote well, the event today is voting registration. People can come and vote. It's going to be drive through And also current students and faculty will be able to vote, uh, register to vote on the site. But other people who are coming by in their trucks, well, they can come by in the drive through Oh, yay! Coming to register to vote. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 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 So, uh, we are uh, uh, giving out school supplies uh, to people that come up here to get them. Uh, we're registering current students. Uh, we have a drive-through uh, that is going on right now. If you know any 18-year-olds, uh, anybody around you that's not registered to vote, tell them to come here to get registered. Okay. Well, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Power of the Hands, a nonprofit we're uh, working with, and uh, Dee Dee McGuire from uh, uh, K104. Uh, they're out here. They have been promoting it uh, on the radio, and uh, we're just hoping to get like a good crowd out here and get them registered so that they can vote come November third. Three. Woo! Oh, y'all, that is adorable. And so we want to make sure that we help the people that are in the community who are already suppressed for some odd reason, right? And we want to help them get involved in the process as well as younger people. We need to start educating them sooner about the voting process. And that's what I'm really proud that we're going to be able to do.